All right, we out here in Salt Lake City. I'm really into this couch at the La Quinta. I mean, this is a great couch. This is not just a so-so couch. It is not just a good couch. It is a great couch. I just love it. I love everything about it. I just wish I could take it home with me. I always have this couch, but we're gonna go to a groovy little VIP party called the Gazebo at the hotel. Okay, okay. We out here in a brand new location. It's really hot. It's like nine o'clock at night and it's still popping off hot. But you know, they have this VIP gazebo just for us. It's no big deal. They reserved it, called ahead, you know, a few people. I pulled some strings. I think I have better light from like here. Can, am I somewhat visible? Yeah. So we out here in a nice gazebo, checking out the pool. Kids are screaming like we're in The Walking Dead up in here, but it's fun. So we've been driving all day. Um, my boo wanted me to preface that my poem is a little angry, but I've been actually having a really great day. This is just kind of based on like the way that people drive in America and the way that men make women feel at gas stations and rest stops, because it's always a very particular sort of vibe. And just kind of like what we do with the beauty we're given and how I get a little disappointed in like the American dream and how it seems that people are always stamping on it and such. Am I, am I seen? Am I visible? Okay, cool. Should I like, am I in better light here? Because this actually looks like I got like a light on my face. It's better. How's my lighting? Glowy, <laughs> angelic, impressive. You can see it. Nailed better. it. This looks kind of cool too. This is like very uh, cinematic, really. I mean, that's cinematic. We out here on location. Um, so it's been a long day of driving and this is just kind of feelings that came along as people hard charged us on the freeway. We'll probably set him down. Ooh, we just got some lightning coming in hard too. So that's exciting, that's cinematic. Also just wanted to show off that I found this at a gas station in Wyoming. How, you ask? I don't know. Everything else was like strange, like guns and, and, and cowboy boots and, and like dream catchers. And then there was this. <laughs> Shot glasses, you know, you can imagine the, the sort of retail that we were dealing with. And I need to pee and I'm one of those people who's like a goody goody, so I'm like, I better buy something. I'm not just gonna pee for free. And I got this, what a treasure. I feel like this is a treasured item. So here's some passion. I had to write down the quote, shake it like you're trying to make your ass fall off. I'm trying to make your ass fall off. Because we heard that on the way here and it just gave me, gave me good life, gave me good bonus points. Come here bud, you wanna, you wanna like be cool for a minute? Come here. Yeah, now we're chilling. Now we're cool. Salt Lake City! So we're on a road trip, y'all. It's gonna be a special couple weeks because I can't cheat. I could not bring all my crazy notebooks with me and dream journals and crazy things I can dig out of boxes at home. This is gonna be force me to write fresh ass poetry each and every single day as a challenge. So here we go. Uh, titled this one. Plains upon plains upon rolling plains. Damn, those sure are some fuck off estates. Gotta write a teen angst abandoned factory revolution movie for that spot. Sticky butt crack kinda hot. Onward to Wham Sutter. People either race ya like maniacs or putter putter like they're headed no place quick. People emerge as delta cases surge and traffic sure is thick. We stick to a mellow pace. We're not trying to race or be in the lead. Songbirds high above the tucked away valleys look so free, making fluid circles like captivating dancers. We're all traveling highways and byways and staying on the path or straying far from it, trying to gather some answers. We move, we are moved. We are stirred by the new scenery our searching eyes behold. The old abandoned Sinclair gas station the devastation of human garbage scattered every which way. People pray and keep on breeding. 
Something sinister has been seeding in this beautiful land. All our best laid plans displayed in landfills, oil slicks and spills. A single shoe next to an old radiator stills my mind in a strange detective novel kind of way. I look at the trash thrown upon the other trash, wondering who really does as they should. The greater good got stuck on some shiny hood ornament. They've got an assortment of beef jerky and every kind of quirky keychain you could dream of. The crows are giant here and love every shiny piece of trash we've passed along for them to take to their kingdoms, their crow kingdoms. The Heartland songs have changed meaning, but we still sing them. We consume their cheap goods and like boogers, we fling them. Along the roadside, we're so prideful without much to be proud of. We push and shove our way to advance one car length. Goddess, give me strength. The entitlement is rank. Every semi truck is flanked on either side by another semi. Duos of hawks fly in symphony. The rhythm pushed into our eardrums by an elemental timpani. It's a few degrees past too hot, but always in Wyoming, the wind will forcefully blow. Give it some oomph da, you know? Hootspah. We try to pause for awe rather than rushing the ride. Sorry, there are massive planes going over my head. <laughs> it's like very loud to me. I don't know if it is for you. Ooh, we're going to have to get some of this lightning in here too. Okay. Give it some oomph da, you know? Some hootspah. We try to pause for awe rather than rushing the ride, taking the continental divide in stride. Is it abandoned, dilapidated, or just undignified? Most comply with road signs about as well as they communicate. It's implied that we may be too late to regain the true human mainframe. We maintain a perplexing insistent on, insistence on hustle and impermanence, choosing that path over unity and resilience. That level of tense you feel when behind the wheel battling for one open gas pump. The paradise of promise starts to look more like a dump. I'm stumped by our unwillingness to confront the aggression passed down in succession generationally and situationally that impedes and infects all further possibility and growth. There's splinters of hope to be found in some of the outposts and ghost towns and around the edges where no one's looking. What we've got cooking is carelessness deep fried and stuffed inside a candied crisp denial. Does anyone even care what's in their contribution to human decency file? We compile data on who's alpha and who's beta and who's doing it in style. Piled plastics on every corner prove there's more drastic shit we should try to focus on. We prolong this exit song, a long ago sparked fuse. Hippos hungry for precious resources to use up and futile wars to erupt needlessly. Greed, sabotage, simplicity, and he was previously just a disgruntled understudy. We muddy the purity of this imperfectly perfect planet with our desire to man it like a ship and slip in our subliminal ego stamps and brands and refuse to hold hands like in that old Coke commercial and instead squirrel away our assets and get sucked into joining competing camps. We blew out the amps with disorienting noise, peace and connection destroyed, the 1% against the unemployed, the unaware and the ultra annoyed. Giant pile drivers and land destruction for hire. Why does it seem most folks conspire to set beauty and integrity on fire? Steel and wire and concrete compete unfairly to tear the majesty of this land, forcing us to choose between the demand for supplies and the fading chance to rise above it. Love it or lose it, snub it or choose it. Crude oil takes true beauty and bruises it unrecognizable. The reprisal of every damned movie and show already made, but no focus on how to save this place. We outpace all former industry and call it progress. Meanwhile, the faces I see are mostly a mess of misery. Is this liberty or is it inhibiting everyone's humanity? Seed shakety. Foxtrot, Bravo, Echo, Hotel, Charlie, Delta, Golf, Whiskey, Tango, Lima. Phonetics and prophetic messages tucked in the folds. Behold, dumb fucks. Big overcompensation wheels and whole truckloads more. You've got to be fucking me. Semis passing semis, passing trucks, passing trailers, carrying lesser trailers. A failure of such an expansive dream. 
Show me what cannot be seen from the road. Slowed to a crawl, cause two 18-wheelers are brawling for dominance. A twisted dance of futile, forceful raging and racing to gain a single mile. They revile the driver in front of them for merely being a few paces ahead. Lead feet clench and compete on the edge of our seats for a movie we could may well be beat by our own ability to meet in any kind of middle. It isn't a riddle. It's a deep need. We feed upon what they offer us instead of making our own feast or at the very least building up some trust. Passing Bar Hat Road in Wyoming. They don't eat kale and they push Jesus like a drug. They sure are smug about their earth penetrating and energy consumption. Visible moral compass dysfunction. A total lack of compunction. It's a black tie function and I'm in my skivvies. A general pro proclivity to siding with irrationality. A general proclivity to siding with irrationality. I get made up real pretty only to have the lechers feast their beastly eyes on me. A kind word or respectful compliment is a rarity. I feel like a thing to be eaten when they cast those sleazy gazes. Why can't men just sing women's praises? They think their eye fangs don't phase us. The bar raises a bit, and then we wear a shirt that enhances our tits and they knock it back down. From city to city and town to town, the backwards momentum feels profound. Is there still ground widely considered sacred? Or did someone already take it and plant a big fat flag? The rise of nationalist pricks is really a drag. It's a lot to unpack, so we just keep track of the spaces where the lights poke through. We find what's true despite their attempts to skew our view and find the remaining sturdy parts to hold on to. That's my poem from me to you, y'all. See if we can get one flash of this lightning over here. We'll just like, we'll just like casually lean and hope there's no spiders. Cause we just saw a really crazy ass spider. I wonder if she's still over there. Yeah, it looks like it's still on the web. That shit was terrifying. Can you see it right now? Because I'm feeling like she's plotting against us because I can't see her. It's like, right. Oh, diggity dang dang. That's a big spider. Okay. Are we getting any lightning? No. Come on. Give us a flash. Give us a flash. There's a really dramatic flash. Okay, we'll just shoot this shit for a few more seconds. I swear there's going to be a flash. <laughs> but, you know, we out here, we out here, we out here in Salt Lake City and... It's a pity that people have to just ride each other's asses and they can't just, like, enjoy the moment, you know? Because that's what we were trying to do. Just... Groove. Just groove. Just, like, can you just groove? Like, there's beauty all around you. There's loveliness that's profound. You got a flash? Yeah! That's all I wanted. Okay, so we'll end it on a flash. And on behalf of Gizmo and my boo and I, hope you have a wonderful night and... Send us some good vibes for our drive tomorrow because we got more uh, land to cover, more mileage to cruise, and we just want to, we just want to groove. So keep grooving. See you mañana. <laughs>